I want to start off today by asking you, do you walk with God daily? There is a difference between being in God's presence once in a while and walking daily with God. My hope for this study today is to inspire you not just to seek the presence of God once in a while, but to live in His presence to transform your life. I am excited to bring this message to you today, so go grab your Bibles and we'll get started. Welcome! Thank you for joining me today. If this is your first time watching, my name is Casey. Here, we dig deep into the Word of God to grow and be transformed by God's Word. If you would, please give this video a little thumbs up and leave me a comment at the end of this video. Let me know what your thoughts are and what you want to see more of. If you know someone who would enjoy these Bible studies, please share my channel with them. Okay, so let's get started. Today we are going to talk about walking daily with Jesus. This is a short teaching, but it is packed with so much biblical truth. Many people today think that you are to go to church once a week to fill God's presence, and that's all you get for the entire week. But that is not what God wants for us. He wants us to walk daily with Him. He wants to be our Father. That is why He sent us Jesus so that we could be close to him just as Jesus was close to the Father. You can find this truth in another video I did. I will put the link below in the description and also link it to the end screen of this video. Many believers want to go to church once a week to experience the presence of God. Some even act like a different person when they go into the church. Jesus did not die for us to live our lives one way and act or pretend that we are another way when we enter the church building. This is not what Jesus died for. Jesus died for us to be one with the Father as he was one with the Father. So let's start reading today in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5 through 6. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Here Enoch is mentioned that he was taken by the Lord. This is in representation of the rapture, but it states before this Enoch had a testimony that he pleased God. So how do we please God? Well, we just read in verse 6, and it told us, Without faith it is impossible to please God, that we must come to Him believing who He is, and that He rewards them that diligently seek Him. Not just seek Him once a week, but seek Him continually. Now let's look at what the Old Testament tells us about Enoch. We can find this in Genesis chapter 5, verses 21 through 24. And Enoch lived sixty and five years and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah three hundred years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were three hundred sixty and five years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. A life of faithfulness. Enoch was sixty-five years old before he had appeared to walk with God after he had Methuselah. It states Enoch walked with God, signifying that he lived in intimacy and fellowship with God. Then God took him, just as he took Elijah in 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 11. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. He went to heaven without dying. His body was translated and reconciled with God. He had victory over death. What a hope that we have in Jesus. If we choose to be one with God and to know him the way these men knew God even before Christ. In Amos 3.3 3 it reads, Can two walk together except they be agreed? 
If we walk together with God, then we are in agreement with God. And if we walk with the world, then we are in agreement with the world, which makes us an enemy of God, according to the Bible. What does God require of us? Let's read Micah chapter 6, verse 8. And he hath shown thee, O man, what is good. And what doth the Lord require of thee, but to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God? God requires us to walk justly, love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. We must learn to live a life of faith, not walking by sight, but by walking by faith with God leading us. So how do we get this faith? We find the answer in Romans chapter 10, verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God because it is required for us to walk with God each and every day. As we wait for the fulfillment of the promises in the Bible, that just as Enoch and Elijah, when they were taken, so we one day will be taken when the Lord comes to take us. I hope this short teaching has encouraged you to get into the Word of God. By hearing and reading the Word daily, you will get the faith required so you can walk by faith following the Lord each and every day.